the OR function in Microsoft Excel is a logical test of whether any of the stated conditions is met. If at least one condition is met, Excel will return a value of true. If none of the conditions is met, Excel returns a value of false. In this example, we want to identify the employees who are either on the North team or who made more than 30 sales this week. The logic is as simple as it sounds. We get into this cell and type equals or open parentheses. And our first logical statement is to say that B4, that's this cell, is greater than 30. We type a comma to enter our second logical condition, which is to check if C4 is equal to the word north. And since we're asking Excel to look for a text value, we type north in double quotes. So either of these two conditions will satisfy what we're looking for. The OR function in Excel can handle up to 255 logical tests, but we're happy with these two, so we close parentheses and hit enter. Excel says true. At least one of these conditions is met. And we can see that it's the second one. This employee is in the North team. Let's copy this formula downward. And we can just double click on the fill handle here. That's the little green square in the corner. And we see that there are two rows saying false. In each case, it's only when the value in both logical tests failed. This employee did not achieve more than 30 sales and neither is he on the North team. Same goes for this employee. So in each case, both logical tests failed. So it's working the way we expected. Now we can couple this functionality with filtering or sorting to group all the rows that we want to see together. Here's another way to get creative with the OR function. It's often nested with the IF function to create a customized response instead of true or false. So let's get into our cell here and we lead with the IF function, open parentheses. The first argument in the IF function calls for a logical test. Well, in this case, our logical test is exactly what our OR function was asking. So we use the OR function as the first argument of the IF function. Don't worry, Excel helps us along so that it isn't as complicated as it sounds. Let's just follow the arguments in bold. We mentioned that the OR function itself is the logical test. So when we type the word OR, Excel reminds us what this function does. It checks whether any of the arguments are true and returns a true or false. We type in open parentheses to say, hey, we're ready to begin. Let's enter the first logical test of our sub function. And it is exactly what we did before. So it's B4 greater than 30 comma C4 equals double quotes north double quotes. And we're done with the OR function. So we close parentheses. And Excel says, well, if you're done with the logical test that you need for the if function, type a comma. So we do. And now it asks for the value if true. What would we like displayed in this cell if this employee is on the North team or made more than 30 sales? Maybe we want these employees to get a bonus. So we can type the word bonus in double quotes. Comma. And what if neither of these conditions is met? Well, the value if false is in square brackets, so that means it's optional. But if we leave it blank, it will display the word false. So let's customize that too. We could just make this cell blank if it doesn't meet our conditions by typing two double quotes with nothing inside. So we close parentheses and hit enter. This employee is getting a bonus. Let's double click to fill the other rows out. So these two won't be getting a bonus, but these four will. So now you know how to use the OR function. And as a bonus, you know how to nest it with the IF function. Want to learn more Excel tips? Subscribe to our channel or visit GoSkills.com. Ready to learn more about Microsoft Excel? Then check out the full course on GoSkills.com. Click the link in the description.